Well, hello Scrapper, Spike here. Welcome back to my channel. And it's that time again. It's time for the year-end gold and silver weigh-in. And this year we have a third mystery metal that we're going to weigh up here. And I'll talk a little bit more about it in a bit. But um, it, this, uh, this weigh-in is going to be a little more complicated than usual because I've got three classes of gold here. I've got gold that's already been poured into bars. Gold that's been triple refined and is ready to be poured into bars. And gold that is not that well refined yet. So we've got three different types of gold here we need to weigh up. And um, add up all the weights on it. Got some uh, silver powder over here. Most of this was produced using the uh, lion sugar method. Some of it's cement silver, but most of it's lion sugar. I'm going to have to show you guys the lion sugar method in, the, in a future video. So stay tuned for that. If you don't know how to do it, I'll show you. So let's get started here. Okay, I got out a pad and a pencil because I'm going to make some notes because uh, I don't exactly know how much gold I've got here and um, I'm as excited to know as you guys. So I'm going to write it down as we go. So I got these two gold bars here, triple refined and already poured into bars at 61.84 grams. That is almost two troy ounces of gold right there. That's good. That is a lot of gold. Great. And it's already triple refined, poured into bars. Beautiful bullion. All right. So, wrote that down for my gold bar total. All right. Put these back in the vault. Something bad happens to them. Okay. And then I've got uh, this stuff right here, which has been triple refined, but it hasn't been poured into bars yet. There's just not enough of it. So let's see if I can get it in here without spilling it. Let's see how much of it there is here. Eight point three grams of very clean gold. Oh, the color, I don't know if it's coming through on the video. Beautiful color, very clean gold. So eight point three grams. All right, put this stuff away without spilling it, hopefully. Okay, Put the lid back on it. All right, and then I've got this stuff here, which is dirty gold. It's only been dropped out of solution once or maybe twice at the most. So it's still kind of dirty, not nearly of the purity that I would like before putting it into bars. But hey, look at that. 14.91 grams. That's almost half an ounce of gold. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's been a good year. Let me total it all up. Let's see what we got. So, according to my calculator app, that is 85.03 grams of gold total just short of three troy ounces nice very nice not a bad year at all for gold okay let's see how much silver i got here zero that out all right fifty nine point Four grams. Let me write that down. So just short of two troy ounces of silver. Now, I haven't tried too hard to recover the silver this year, um, but uh, I think maybe in the next year or so I'm going to try and recover more of it. Uh, usually, what happens is this the silver gets lost mixed in with the debris, IC chip debris and whatnot, as silver chloride powder. And it's, it's hard for me to separate it out. But I've been thinking about ways to do that, to separate the silver chloride back out of the other solid debris. So um, we might do that in the future and see if we can recover a little more silver chloride or see if we can recover a little more silver in the future. And like I said, I will show you guys the lye and sugar method of getting silver out of silver chloride. So we'll do that in the next year too. So, all right, doing pretty good so far. And then there's this mystery metal. 
What could this mystery metal be? Is it platinum? Is it palladium? Is it iridium? Is it rhodium? No, unfortunately, it's not any of those. It's not silver either. How much of it have we got, though? 9.6 grams. That is tin. Which doesn't seem all that great until you realize I recovered this from some of my waste solutions, okay? Almost 100% pure tin recovered from my waste. And I get requests for that all the time. Almost every video I put out, they say, okay, that's great. But you know, the tin's worth more than the copper. Or the tin's worth more than this. How do I get the tin back? Can you show me how to get the tin back? How can I recover the tin from my waste? Well, I've been doing some experiments on that. And maybe I just got lucky the first time. But hey, I got some tin. So I think in the next year, we are going to try and recover some more tin from waste products. And I'll show you how I do it. I'll show you what works and what doesn't. And you may even get some bloopers out of it. You guys seem to like the bloopers. All right. So, yeah, so 9.6. Let me write that down. Tin. 9.6 grams. All right, I think on the whole, a pretty good year. 85.03 grams of gold, 59.4 grams of silver, and 9.6 grams of tin. So, in the next year, hey, subscribe to uh, watch my future videos. There's going to be a whole lot more gold, silver, and probably tin recovery videos coming out. Um, we'll be beating up rocks in the smash matic and panning gold out of them. And... Uh, be doing all kinds of stuff here so you know subscribe and press that little bell icon so you don't miss out you'll be notified when I release a new video and uh, check out my second channel electric geek 64 if you're at all interested in electronics or retro computing you got to check it out because I got really interesting stuff going on there lately and hey thanks a lot for watching this video I'll see you in all my videos next year have a good one bye